and good morning guys uh, today is Thursday the 14th of March already mid March time is flying it's 6 30 in the morning here at the Bay South Florida in Miami and today um, I'm going to touch on I had a conversation yesterday it was more like a meat of the minds yesterday right it's all about chronic health chronic health health from within and yesterday we were talking about the diets carnivore vegetarian vegan omnivore this and that and you know there's such a huge argument and nobody can get along right having a a, a civil an amicable debate right so my <clears throat> my way right the way i'm doing it right now i'm 53 years old super healthy super in shape i'm not deficient on anything i do raw plant-based mostly fruits seeds nuts right raw i try to eat raw and then 98 percent of that uh, I'm, i try to be flexible as much as possible i have two kids my kids are, are twins i have a boy and a girl they're 15 years old sometimes there's pizza sometimes there's this and that and here and there i may have a bite of this or that but at this point where i am right now right uh, my body tells me if I have one bite of pizza with cheese right my body would tell me right away what are you doing right so I've been plant-based first of all for six years I started when I was 48 I've been all my life eating all kinds of animal products everything from milk cheese meats and this and that and I just had a challenge I never I never in my entire life Right, until I was 48, ever thought about going? I don't really, I don't like to label myself vegan, vegetarian. Uh, I don't. I'm an omnivore. I'm a human being. I don't. I don't. I'm not. What I'm doing is not because of the animals. I love the animals, but this. What I'm trying to find out at my age is longevity, right? And yesterday the argument. We have all kinds of people, some people trying to get big, how you're going to get big, your muscle, right? And I'm going to tell you that now I'm 50, it's been six years, I'm 53 years old, right? Since I've rolled plant, uh, um, plant-based, and for almost 14, almost going for 15 months, right? I'm raw, went to raw, from cooking rice, beans, lentils, now I do everything, sprouts. I try my best, so 98%, right? So my goal... It's longevity, right? I'm trying to age gratefully. Uh, when I was 48, I noticed the signs of turn, started to, you know, trying to get some gray hair, which I don't have that many right now. I have few, they're not very visible. I started losing my hair crazy. Now I'm not losing my hair anymore, right? And when I was 48, I met someone who was, in fact, a raw plant-based, and why I say raw plant-based, and I don't like to say vegetarian, because just the debate is like, well, I never seen some people, some of my friends, right? Some of them, I, I love my friends. So I never seen somebody who is a, a vegan or vegetarian. I'm, like, I'm right here. That looks amazing. I was like, you tell me I don't look amazing because I look better than you. And you eat meat, right? And they're about my age. And I'm like, well, well, you're the only one. I'm like, guys, I understand this, right? If you eat chips, salsa, and Coca-Cola, right, you're pretty much vegan. So that's why I like to say raw plant-based to identify myself. What is it that I eat, right? And it all is going to go back to you sleeping, right? This, the people that sleep meat, and I was one of them, right? Tells you, all the experts out there, the Hoopers, the, the David Sinclair, that you got to rest seven, eight hours. That's not an efficient machine. This super mecha, super, this is human mechanism, a supercomputer, cannot be in repair, cannot be in the shop one third of your day. That's not an efficient machine, right? My challenge was simple. Go 30 days without any animal products. It's impossible. And it takes me to the point where everybody said, well, you know, if you go vegan, you go vegetarian, you become weak, you become pale. And it's true. Because there's a process, right? Oh, this, this, you got to detoxify the body. You got to cleanse the body, right, from your addiction to food. You had, your microbiome is addicted to what you eat right now. 
and your microbiome, your other brain, will not allow you to go anywhere far away. Hey, well, what is this? What is this veggie? What is this fruit? Crap, where's the meat? So, what is happening right now? And I, I, I can only tell you my experience because a lot of people bring a lot of books. I read this. I studied this. I read. You do, you, a lot of people talk to me about third person. I heard, I read, I went to study, I, I read the books, Oxford, Stanford. I'm like, what a nonsense. Stop that nonsense, okay? If you write a book, right, you're going to put your influence on that book, right? And you get influenced by the book. you brainwashing yourself. So what I'm telling you right now is I absorb from everybody, right? And I come out with my own conclusions. I'm experiment, experimenting with myself. So my goal at this age, 53, is longevity, vitality, right? I want to be in shape. I want to be healthy. I don't, this is preventive health. This is what I'm doing, right? I'm not trying to get bigger. In fact, I try to get as smaller as I can possibly can. I want all my organs as tight as possible, lean as possible, muscular as possible at the same time. But I do not want to get big. If you're a, a, a guy who's 24, 25, you, you still want to get bigger. I understand, but that's not the goal here. My goal is to lead, and it's not anti-aging either. It's not, I want to find out how am I to, how am I supposed to age, right? And get to past hundreds, 110, 105, whatever. I think I, I can easy, we can easily do nowadays with all the technology, with all the advances, all the comfort that we have, we can do 110 easily now, but you have to do it in one piece. Because if you're going to be falling apart, what's the point, right? And I see many people my age who just literally fall apart. On the other side, I, I see few, quite a few people, much older than me, about a decade, some people in, in their 70s, 80s, like my dad, which is 85, changed his life, looking amazing, just because he did little tweaks here and there, right? But that's the idea, right? If you eat meat, and this, I was one of them, Right? And your brain will not allow you to change your mind. These people are just, they just cannot comprehend. Right? You're going to have to sleep a lot of hours because you're trying to make animal DNA into a human being. Now, am I saying you're not supposed to eat meat at all? That's not, not, not really what I'm saying. Because let's say you have the mouth and the nose, right? You're supposed to breathe through your nose. Breath work, which is not above everything else, breath work. But you can still breathe through your mouth, but it's not, a, it's not efficient. Right? Now, understandable, a lot of people eat meat because there's more nutrition on the meat that they eat from the vegetables, the fruits, all the crap that is not organic that they buy in the supermarket. They're pumped up out of the ground, you know, with f fake fertilizers, right, just to make it bigger so they can make more money. So understand that a lot of people cannot get the nutrition that they need, right? Out of the fruits, the vegetables, and all. But understand this human mechanism right here, right? It's a chemical factory. Every emotion, every reaction, is is just a chemical reaction, a chemical balancing. I can tell you right now. If you see me right now, right? And I'm excited. They're cool. Oh my God! Six in the morning. Let's go. Let's go. This is how I'm balancing myself without even noticing. Now, if, you, if I can do this throughout the entire day, I, I'm in control. I'm going to control myself. I'm happy. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this. In fact, I'm down here because I'm going to work out. I stretch for a little bit up there at the gym. But I actually came down here to do some uh, pull-ups and, and push-ups. So this is my experience, guys. Right? I'm sleeping less. I went to sleep yesterday at 9.47. 9.47. And I woke up. My eyes popped open. I don't do alarms. Right? I don't do alarms to get up out of the bed. I sleep as many hours as I have to sleep to be fully rested. The body, the body does not require. Does not require sleep. What it requires is to be fully rested. And to be fully rested, the best way to do this, when we look at the sunrise right here, how cool is that? The best way to be fully rested is to sleep. But if I can cut 
hours of sleep because I'm already fully rested. If you if you fully rested throughout the entire day, you just don't sleep. Imagine your life. Oh my God, no, I have to go to sleep. That's nonsense, guys. You want you, We are here to live, not to sleep it. Oh, but I, I enjoy sleeping. Nobody can enjoy sleep. You can't enjoy sleep. What do you mean? I love sleeping. No, what you, you enjoy is the restfulness that sleeping gives you. Understand that concept? Right? Because if you enjoy sleeping, you're not sleeping. When you're sleeping, you are doing astro whatever, whatever your mind goes. You're resting. It's, you're in the repair shop. Right? So, this chemical factory right here that produces all these emotions, all these reactions, all it needs is raw material. Raw material. That's all you need. And with, out of those raw materials, your body will produce every single vitamin, every single mineral, right? Every single amino acid for proteins. If people say, I need protein, you need amino acids, right? Any single enzyme that you need, your body will produce if you give it the raw material. Now, I like to tell people, right, that animals in the wild know what to eat. One sniff, yes. Yes or no? We don't know. We still don't know. We look, we're still arguing with this. If animals know what to eat in the wild because they have that instinct, we do have the same instinct, but we have lost it. We're so confused, you know, we're, we're in the cloud. We have, we have no idea what to eat. There's carnivore, pasta, no pasta, bread, no bread, gluten, no gluten, whatever, right? The closest animal to the human being is the chimpanzee, the gorilla, the orangutan. They know what to eat. And I, I refer to the gorilla all the time because people keep saying, well, how are you going to get your, your muscle? Gorilla, a 500-pound gorilla. One slap, boom, 10 people knocked out, right? If you eat like a gorilla, you will notice that the gorilla does not eat any meat. In fact, some of the gorillas uh, that we had on, on the zoos and died, right? They keep saying the animals are stupid. We are stupid. And we are like crime over like crime of evolution. Right? Now, what is the problem with me? Because when I was in the process of trying to go once, one entire month, only 30 days <laughs> without any animal product, I will fall back. I will fail. I will fail. Cheese, this, because you, we eat by the smell. I love the smell of this. I don't need, you don't, right? I start noticing that that meat, right, which we don't kill. Most of us we don't hunt. You know, shout out to the hunters out there, right? If you go hunt and you eat it on the spot, you eat it fresh. Now, you eat it fresh, but you have to cook it, unless you eat it raw, like uh, like French, like black and blue, right? That's something else. Now, that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm omnivore. I'm a human being. I don't label myself. If I have to eat, I eat your dog. Oh, my God, how could you say that? An animal is an animal. I'm not here for the values, the morals, all that. I don't say what works. I'm trying to find out what works. Right? So if you're a hunter, you go out there and hunt because you have to. Because you have to eat. You know, you don't know what to eat and you have to hunt. Right? You cannot, the human mechanism that does not digest fresh flesh right uncooked as well as cooked that's what we cook it we cook it because that way we digest it now when you cook anything you kill it the planet is three-fourths water the human is three-fourths water and we have a dry diet and we cook it on top of everything we do try to get all the water out of the diet so when you eat most of the time, you're drinking something at the same time. You're diluting everything, right? So that's why most of the, most of the, that's the problem with the, uh, the carnivore diet. And I'm telling you from my experience, please, please tell me if it's, I'm not wrong. You generate a lot of waste. And you know what I mean, waste, excrement, poop, lots of it, right? And to digest, guys, we're trying to make an un animal DNA into a human being. The system gets so confused. What the hell is this? How am I making a human being out of something that is already cooked meat, right? Cheese process, uh, milk. We don't even drink raw milk, right? Yogurt, how do I make this into a human being? So 
you produce a lot of waste. It takes a lot, it takes a toll on the system, on the digestive system, right? It, gener uh, it generates a lot of waste and it takes a long time to, pr to pass through the system because the system has to process this. That's when you fall back into the sleep in the seven, eight, nine hours. You have to sleep seven, eight, nine hours. That is not an efficient machine because I know people that sleep four hours and they're fully rested, right? And that's all I need. It's just one example of somebody who's doing it, right? To corroborate that it's possible. Oh no, everybody's not the same. Everybody's the same. We are all the same. That nonsense of no for me is because you brainwash. It's because your microbiome is because your addiction. If you're addicted to alcohol, cigarettes, any drug, fentanyl, whatever, heroin, you know, and this is another thing, the detox process, the cleansing process, process is brutal. And when you are doing the switch to go to raw plant base, right, and you go through this system, the same symptoms, right, which is the fever, and I turned pale, and I was yellow, and I was weak, you need to push through it. You need to lose 30, 40, 50 pounds. And if, you, if, if you've been in the diet of carnivore, it might take years. It took me 14 months to achieve 30 days. Now, I can tell you this right now. Once on you the other side, on the side where I am right now, you will understand. <laughs> and that's the, the problem that most people cannot understand because they're on the other side. They, they're just close-minded. They will not understand what I'm trying to tell them because they've never been on this side. Once you're on this side, you understand your skin, your hair, you know, your flexibility, your mental awareness, your senses, your six, seven, eight, nine, ten senses get so enhanced. You become not a superhuman, but you realize how super is to be human. Right? But oh, I never seen an example of a vegan, a vegetarian that is healthy, healthy. Every single Shaolin Kung Fu master. Right, every one of them is plant based. Some things you need to cook, and we'll get into that in a future video. Some things need to be cooked to get the, especially the greens. You know, your cilantro, your kales, you need to get the, the chlorophyll out of it, which is great for the body, compatible to the body, but you need to process it because we are not able to naturally. So there's ways to cook that, not to overcook it, but just to lightly cook it, right? Make it into a tea. But guys, we need to understand this. Eating meat is like breathing to your mouth. You'll survive. I don't want to survive. I want to live to the fullest. To the fullest. I want to lack. Look, if you eat, if you, there's few examples. Joe Rogan. Uh, Jordan Peterson and all these people that eat meat, they're aging way too fast. I see all these doctors, right? They're five, six, seven years younger than me. They don't look like me. They don't, cannot, I'm not a doctor. They can't do the things that I do. And I'm not like, uh, I'm just a regular dude that ate meat all, all my life. And then all the time, just give it a try. And it worked. But that's what I'm saying. When I'm on this side, right, you understand what were you doing wrong? And what I'll try, look, if you want to eliminate diseases, if you want your body to be in ease, this ease, right? If you want your body to be in ease, right? Don't overload your digestive system. Don't create waste going around. A lot of people are walking around between 10 and 20 pounds of waste, right? You go into the bathroom, you, you stink. That's another thing. If you eat meat, you stink. You eat the other. You use the deodorant, and some people even use antiperspirant because they stink. When you're on this side, you don't stink. There's nothing to stink. You stink to an animal. And most of the meats that you eat, guys, understand that. Most of the meats that you eat are pure estrogen. We're talking about here all this nonsense, all this craziness that testosterone levels are going down. You're not eating the bull's ball. You're not eating the rooster. You're eating the chicken. The chicken lays eggs. That's a female, right? And the cow is the one that they can pump up. How do they pump up the, the, the cow? With estrogen. So literally, you are eating estrogen. And then we're talking about testo 
the decline in testosterone, the male, you are not hunting, right? It's frozen. You're eating dead food and trying to leave, right? The fruits, the vegetables, if they're dead, you don't eat them. They're rotten. Water, you drink a lot of water. I eat a lot of water. Fruit, a lot of water. Watermelon, apples, oranges, right? It's already filtered, electric, ionized. It, it, and, and it's got all the vitamins that you need, right? And it's getting late because I'm, you know, hey, but I'm showing you here the, sun, the, the sunrise. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing here. But we need to get to this point. I need to get this message out, right? This is working for me. It will work for you. You need to push through the other side. Once you're on the other side, you will understand, right? You'll survive with me. You're not going to leave the way I live, the way that people on my, I don't know, my level. You just, you don't, look, you cannot make the most successful, you cannot make the most successful, efficient, and capable human being out of animal DNA. If you cannot comprehend that, right, if you cannot comprehend that, then you are on a lower level. Animal DNA cannot make a human being. You need raw material, right? And that's all you need, raw material, right? For this super machine, this pharmacy, this chemical factory to produce everything that you need, right? Everything that you need. And I'm going to keep doing this. When if I get sick, I'll let you know. But so far, uh, it's been six years, 15 months of raw plant-based, Mostly fruits is what I need. Watery fruits, right? And that's what you need if you want to live longer. Meat is going to age you way faster. Why? It takes a toll on the digestive system. It takes a toll on you sleeping. You cannot sleep one third of your day. You're not going to be sleeping one third of your life. You cannot sleep eight hours, right? Do what I'm doing. Come down on those hours. If you gain two, three hours a day and you're fully rested, you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Now, what I'm trying to say is this is going to be the hardest thing you're going to ever going to, is going to do. It's a detox, it's a cleanse. You are, are addicted. So it's the hardest thing you're all going to do. So most people don't do it because they're weak. They can't do it. Right? But give it a try. 30 days, 45 days. The best way to do this is get into a group. Get somebody who's done it, who can guide you. Right? Because the environment is not going to allow you. To stop eating pizza, to go on the weekends, have a drink, this and that. I don't have, look, if you're somebody who on the weekends goes out and smoking and drinking and doing this and that, then I can't help you. you know? But if you're on, on this path of health, on this path of health, right, you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't do that, and you, and you didn't what was supposed to be clean, the next level is give up all animal products. That's it's, it's another level above. Right? I can challenge anybody out there. Right? Give it a try. Right? It's 30 days. How you do this? The best way to do this is with juice fasting. You juice all your fruits, your vegetables, you juice absolutely everything. Without the fiber, just juice it and go with as much juice as possible. Because the juice is going to cleanse the entire digestive system. You got crap all, all over the place. And, and what you need to do is get rid of it. And for 30, 45 days, even if you don't eat anything, you're going to see so much crap coming out of it. So much, right? And even for, for months, you're going to see things that were sticking here and there. All this is going to come out. And the debate keeps going, guys. Let's keep it amicable. Let's keep on talking about it. Let's keep it out. Another thing, right, that you guys need to understand is when you are... Row plan base. You never get upset. Never. If you see a vegan, a vegetarian, I'm getting, oh my God, those are fake. You, we're, we are calm like a plant. Ever. You're in control, right? Now, when you try to make animal DNA into a human being, right, you're going to act like a chicken. You're going to act like a cow. Now, let's keep the debate going. Let's keep on coming on, on this, right? I am here to tell you that you do not need to sleep eight hours. You need to sleep as many hours as you have to sleep to be fully rested. 
I'm going for, for five hours now. That's my goal, from six to five hours. I will be gaining three hours a day. Get it, no alarm to get up, right? Fully rested, so you can live life. That's what I'm trying to do, all right? And with that, I'm gonna let you go because I already went for 25 minutes, but let's keep, on, let's keep on talking about that. Sleeping is not a requirement for the body. Restfulness, it is. It's not about nutrition, it's about nourishment, right? And we talk about nutrition. And exercise, guys, if you don't use the body, you're gonna lose it. But above everything else is breath work. Through the nose, not through the mouth. Breath work. Shout out to this guy that I like very much online. Um, the Black Airbender. His name is Devon. Check it out on YouTube. He's all over the place. He's also on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. Right? But a shout out to everybody that engaged yesterday on this conversation. Oh my God, it went just crazy. But some people just go nuts. Right? And it makes you realize right, that people cannot keep their cool. Why you cannot keep your cool when you're debating? It's an it's amicable, uh, a healthy exchange of ideas, right? I am telling you my experience. No books, no this, no that. You can read all, but come out with your own conclusions. And with that, I'm going to let you go, guys. But look at this, sunrise, early morning. Let's go. Let's get it going. I'm going to work out. This is Johnny from Chronic Health, right? What I'm trying to do here is health from within. Preventive health. Forget about your doctor. Your doctor doesn't know anything. Another question for you guys. You had a doctor. That's your doctor. Your MD, your primary care physician. Do they look the part? Do they look the part? <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair question, isn't it? Because most of them, they don't. They tell you, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. They're clueless. They are clueless, right? I'm not a doctor, but uh, I'm just feeling great. I'm 53. And this is working for me. Hopefully what, what you're doing is working for you, but let's keep on pushing the limit to get to the next level, right? The way to go is raw plant-based, mostly fruits. You get everything out of there. Everything that your body needs, every vitamin, every, every mineral, every enzyme, any amino acids, you know, you can add uh, superfoods here and there. It works amazing. It works amazing. Whoever's telling you otherwise is because there are not willing to try to go through the process of detox and cleanse, which is brutal. It is brutal. You lose, you, you feel like crap. You, it's like detoxing from, I would, I would assume, like from heroin or from alcohol or from cigarettes. It's almost impossible. When you're in that situation, you got to push through it until you get to the other side. You realize that you cannot make the most successful, efficient, and capable human being out of animal DNA. You can survive, but you're not going to be the best that you can be. All right? And with that, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> uh, have an amazing day, guys. Let's go.